draw the isometric view of a square lamina of 60 mm edge length. Here we are having two subdivisions for the question. One is when the lamina is resting on HP on its surface and the second condition is when the lamina is kept vertical with one of the edges on HP. So we have to draw the isometric view in these two conditions. So for the first condition that is the lamina is resting on HP on its surface. So what do you mean by a lamina? A lamina means a flat surface which doesn't have any thickness or which is having negligible thickness. It will be in effect having only two dimensions which are length and breadth usually. So here this is uh, the representation of a square lamina. Here we are having a square lamina. So we shall consider the first condition that is the lamina is resting on HP on its surface. So here you consider this as our horizontal plane. So the lamina is resting on the horizontal plane. So here no other conditions are mentioned such that the edge is parallel to HP, edge is perpendicular to VP, nothing of that sort is mentioned. If nothing is mentioned, we shall draw one of the edges parallel to the XY line. And when you are observing this lamina from the top, the lamina has a hole, the surface of the lamina is resting on the horizontal plane. So in the top view it will be a square and when you are observing it from the front it will be a straight line which is on the XY line. So that is why the symbol top view is a square and the symbol front view is a line. So the lamina is having an edge length of 60, it doesn't have any height because it is a lamina and I have marked the uh, XYZ direction also here. So in this case we shall draw the isometric view of the square lamina which is a 2D surface. So first step is as usual we have to choose the origin. So we will be choosing the origin from the front view, a point that is visible in the front view along the base. So here along the XY line the visible point is D. So on the left hand side we are having D. So we have to take point D as the origin. So we are taking point D as the origin. Now. Along the x direction and along the y direction, we are having 60 mm and 60 mm each. So we have to take 60 mm to the right hand side and we have to take 60 mm to the left hand side with an angle of 30 degrees. Now we shall take 60 mm to right and 60 mm to left in order to get C and A respectively to the right hand side and left hand side. Now along the base we have to get one more point which is point B. As this is a square, if you use your compass and cut two arcs, one from the point C, another from point A, the meeting point will be giving you point B. So the meeting point is point B here. In this case, as this is a square lamina, these forms the outline. So these four points form the outline of the lamina. So we shall draw AB, BC, CD and DA using thick lines. Now we shall do the dimensioning process and indicate the direction of the front view. In this case, the front edge that is DC, DC, it is on the right hand side. So this is the direction in which we have to observe this lamina in order to get the front view of this lamina. So in this case one more point you can please note when I am marking these arrowheads first I will be just marking a small cutting here. So this cutting also if it is possible you make it parallel to this projection line. So likewise when I have drawn this larger arrowhead this cutting is almost parallel to this line. Now we shall 
go for the second option. The lamina is kept vertical with one of its edges on HP. So, when the lamina is kept vertical, so this is vertical condition. Vertical condition means the surface of the lamina is parallel to VP and when you are observing from the top, it is visible as a line. So in the top view it is a line and in the front view it is a complete square with dimension 60. So I have already drawn a simple front view and simple top view. Simple top view is a line and simple front view is a square. So the first step is we have drawn a baseline here. The second step is we have to choose an origin. So usually we will be taking a point from the front view along the base which is visible on the left hand side. So here point A is visible. So we shall take point A as the origin. So I have marked this X, Y and Z direction here. So if you notice to x direction, along x direction we are having a length of 60 mm and along y direction we don't have a dimension and along z direction also we are having a dimension of 60 mm. So when you are taking 30 degrees, you can take 30 degrees to the right hand side alone because we are having a dimension only to the right hand side. You don't have a dimension to the y direction. So to the left hand side we need not draw the 30 degree line. So here only to the right hand side we require this 60 mm. So here also this is an isometric view so we shall not take a length reduction. Here on to the right hand side of point A along the base we are having point D. So this point will be point D. Now, we are having vertical dimensions also. Here from point A, we are having 60 mm to get point B. And here from point D, we are having 60 mm height in order to get point C. So from point A and point D, we shall take 60 mm height each vertically upwards. So this point will be above A it is B and above D it is C. So this will be point B and this will be point C. Now we shall join B and C using thin lines. So here as it is a lamina, A, B, C, D and D, A forms the outline of the lamina. So we shall draw it using thick lines. Now we shall mark the dimension. So in this case the front view direction is on the right hand side again because we have taken point A as the origin. So one more thing you have to notice when you are writing these numbers it also must be in a line or in line with this inclination of the line. So here I have just tilted the letter 60 it is not straight so I have just tilted 60 likewise you have to tilt the numbers also. So here we are taking 30 degrees to only one side because here we are having measurement only to the right hand side. Along the y direction we don't have a dimension. That is why we are not taking 30 degrees to the left hand side. And in condition number A we are having 30 degrees to either sides because here in the x direction and in the y direction we are having measurements. But whereas in the z direction we don't have any height. That is why we are not taking 
height from A, B, C, D vertically upwards.